Welcome back to another episode of Guns by Giz. I'm Giz, and today we are looking at my new Sig Sauer P365 X Macro Spectre Comp setup. So that was a mouthful because Sig likes to give every single thing they do a long, long, long name. However, let's break this thing down. Been waiting on this for a few months, finally got all the pieces together. We have the brand new Icarus Precision X Macro Lower. This thing, oh man, I wish they would have given this grip texture on my competition one that I use. Uh, I did end up not using it anymore purely because it didn't have enough texture. This is great, guys. The amount of bite that you get out of that is amazing. They did this beautiful kick out with the heel. When you put this thing in your hands, it just feels right. So another great feature is the built-in ambidextrous thumb rest. I always feel like when I'm using my P365, I have a little bit of an uneasy feeling of where do I put my thumb? And that solves that problem for you. It does have the 3.1 barrel from the original setup. Uh, this originally was a 365X. And we went ahead and put the EPS carry on this. Absolutely love that. It's a green dot. Um, completely enclosed so it's very easy to clean which is why I put it on there now let's talk about this slide it is a factory SIG custom works uh, setup and it is the Spectre comp slide so it is ported does have the three and a half or 3.1 inch barrel but it comes with these great suppressor height sights that co-witness beautifully now I don't know if we can get it to look yeah maybe we'll get to find it there we go. So you can see it just co-witnesses beautiful. And that dot's nice and big. Um, I love the hollow suns for the automatic on and off feature. Does have the DPM uh, setup in there. Couldn't find it anywhere for the macro, which does require a little bit lighter springs just because it's compensated. So I went ahead and ordered it directly from Greece, from DPM themselves. And it was here in less than one week, guys. So if you do have a concern with them coming through customs or thinking it's going to take a long time to get them, it doesn't. A week, heck, some of my stuff that I order from Optics Planet or places that are here in the United States take longer than a week. So they've got their stuff together over there. I can't say enough about their products and their customer service. Just email them, ask them if they can expedite the shipping for free for you. That's what they did for me. I've heard that through the grapevine that uh, pretty much anybody can ask them to upgrade the shipping and they'll do it for free. So uh, great company again. Now let's talk about how this thing shoots. First and foremost, being that it's compensated, it is louder than your normal 365. But as far as how this thing fits in your hand, how this double undercut trigger along with the thumb rest feels, this thing is just amazing. To control that, not a problem. You take this thing to the range and you would be hard pressed to think you weren't shooting a much larger gun based on its level of accuracy. And again, the reason I love the SIG products primarily is for the simple fact that they're adult Legos. So we can play with them as much as we want. When I get sick and tired of carrying this because it's a little bit bigger than what I like to carry, but for winter, it's great. Roll around to summertime, I'll switch it back to the Wilson Combat uh, grip module, and we'll be back in a, a smaller frame and a smaller slide setup, uh, something roughly in that range. Okay, and then we go from 12 bullets to 17. This thing holds 17 plus one. Yes, you heard me right, 17 plus one in this tiny little pistol that performs like a big pistol. So if you don't have one yet, get one. Order this Icarus Precision Lower. It's worth it. I know it's pricey, but all things that are good cost money. So please don't be cheap. Pull out your wallet and order one of these grips. Order a slide or use the macro you already have. This setup is bar none one of my favorite carry guns. It's what I've been carrying for the last couple of weeks and I enjoy it. We'll do a follow-up to this and we'll take it out to the range 
let you guys see a side-by-side -side comparison of the 365 with maybe a full-size P320. That way you can see the recoil impulse difference. Uh, we do have a ported P320 that we can go over, and we'll take a look at that as well. This is Guns by Giz signing off. Hope you have a great day and enjoyed the video.